There you go. So we're talking about Doctor Who again. Um, I've been discussing Doctor Who here on this show as well as my uh, channel as well, the main channel. Ross of T Davies, uh, RTD, the retardeed, uh, has now actually come out and confirmed something which I've been saying uh, is that the ratings are bad. So he's come out and said, look, you know, he admits that the ratings aren't, you know, that, that they aren't hitting uh, what they would like to hit. Um, does try to make a, a side comment about how the under 30s growth is good. Uh, and the, the BBC is really happy about that, which is interesting. Uh, now, this comes hot off the heels of this website, Doctor Who TV. This is something that you might want to know about, Bo, as well, because you might want to do. It may interest you for a segment, basically. Doctor Who TV reported to me directly and no one else that the BBC, taxpayer funded, the BBC is hiding, refusing to provide the audience appreciation index, the audience thoughts and opinions of Doctor Who, basically. Uh, they're keeping it to themselves. They've never done this at, ever. In the 20 years Doctor Who TV has ran this website, they've never done that before. Now, Doctor Who TV is a whole website dedicated to Doctor Who. They're very positive about Doctor Who. They're as positive as positive can be. They want Doctor Who to be successful. It's how they get a website, obviously. Uh, so them withholding it to them is rather telling. And them telling me, just to be as unbiased as possible, yeah, no, not good. Um, but now we hear this from Ross T. Davies that, yeah, it's not it's not actually that good. So basically, there was an interview with the Radio Times. And Ross T. Davies says, I'm very proud of it. Sure. I mean narcissist and idiots usually are uh you know they might not be the ratings we'd love now what you publicly say as a creator versus what you're saying behind closed doors you're going to put a much braver face on it in public for pr reasons especially when you're getting mega money from disney so to say that they might not be the ratings we'd love is an admissions of they're absolutely appalling mm. uh we always want higher yep but they're building up over the 28-day period. Now, this is what's comical about this. Episode 1 of Space Babies is already up to 5.6 million. Now, I went back and looked at this. So, 5.6 million, well, in seven days, it only reached 4.01. So, you're telling me it took you 28 days to accrue an extra one, was it 1.5.6? One point... it? So, what, 1.59 million? What? It took you that long to accrue another 1.59 million views? That's appalling. That's so bad. Bearing in mind, that's going to be the highest that they will ever get. Because it's going to peter off. We, we can see the tracking. It goes down and down and down and down and down. So it's only going to go down. It's not going to go up. It's going to get worse. Yeah. And so that I one space think... baby that uh, 5.9 million. That's the yeah. highest it's ever going to get. They used to get 10 million overnight. Not in 28 days, 10 million overnight. Yeah, I think I think I, my prediction is right that by the time we get to episode eight, they'll be under 2 million on the overnight ratings. Yeah, and I, oh, massively. I mean, I'm, I'm watching the tracking here and going, this is not great. And um, so it says this, Davies highlighted his success in attracting a younger audience. You know, I bet you do, mate, groomer. I was brought back, yeah. allegedly, I was brought back in to bring in a youthful audience that's been massively successful. He also touched on the broader challenges faced by traditional TV and capturing younger audiences. Uh, the audience, no one ever no one ever gets at the under 30s. They just don't watch TV anymore. No, they watch people like me and you and Culture, Bo, Andre. They watch us. They don't want to watch this crap. They just don't watch TV anymore. But those figures are astronomic for Doctor Who. It's their top program in that bracket. I never thought it was possible, to be honest. But according to the people who juggle the numbers, all targets have been reached and exceeded. The BBC are running around like mad things. I this would love to see people. those numbers in detail. Because all we get here is they are happy with the numbers. What, what were those numbers? They're happy with the growth in under, 30, under 30s. Well, as you just pointed out, 
under 30s don't watch TV. They don't have any reason to. So what kind of growth are we talking here? A hundred people, a thousand people, 10,000 people, hundred thousand. I would really like to know what kind of scale we are talking about here. Because I refuse to believe that it is any kind of numbers that we would be happy about. To me, this reads like a major cope, because if the numbers really were that good, they would have let the world know. Instead, what I see here is that they're letting one website know. Oh, the numbers are good. We're super duper happy. Trust me, bro. That's why we don't tell anyone anything to anyone mm. else. Just trust us. The numbers are amazing, but not amazing enough. For, in, uh, but not amazing enough for us to actually announce them. Yeah. That does not compute. Mm. Yeah. Well, but the, also these this this stupid cope that he's saying here flies in the face of. Well, yeah, we, we actually haven't got a renewal for the third third season of this new era yet. Still up in the air. So it, it, it's so yeah. obviously an attempt to cover up terrible, terrible numbers, right? I mean, oh, yeah. it just seems, it just seems so obvious. Again, the 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 sort of the psychology of a of a child. Uh, who do you think you're kidding? You know, when a little kid lies to your face about something. They've got chocolate spread all over their face. They're like, did you steal the chocolate spread out of the cupboard? And they're looking you right in the face going, no, no. It's like, it's that level of, of silliness. Or like, you know, a mate, uh, he's like, oh, I've got a girlfriend, but she's from another school and you don't know her. And I'm not telling you her name. It's like, obviously, <laughs> obviously you're lying. Obviously. Come on. You're not kidding anyone for a split second. Um well, I'm I'm surprised that they get as many as five million or two million views. I'm I'm still surprised at that. To be quite honest, I think there's been mm. a, a paradigm shift both in um, both in TV and film and in politics. I think there's been a, a, a starting to be a real shift now where people have had enough. Mm. It's been quite a few years. Even the so-called normies uh, have have, wo have largely woken up to it. And they're like, yeah, yeah I, I used to be a massive Doctor Who fan in the 1970s or the 2000s. Yeah, I, I loved Star Wars when I was a kid in the 80s or 90s or whatever. But now it's been completely subverted and perverted and it's not for me. It's very, very deliberately not for me. So I'm not going mm. to watch it. Um, and yeah, and as for the younger people, under 30s or whatever, uh, yeah, why, one, why would you be watching much TV at all? Mm. And secondly, why would you be tuning in to Doctor Who of all things? Yeah, yeah, they're not watching it. Yeah, obviously. And so that's why I say I'm surprised that they still get as many as five or, or two million views. I guess it's just the absolute, it's either hate watching or it's just the absolute, absolute diehards that watch anything the BBC do. And there are lots of people in Britain like that and all over the world. But oh, yeah. Britain, there are lots of boomers, really. Uh, I don't want to single out the boomers. I know they're very sensitive about ever being called out on anything. But um, uh, I think there's a lot of boomers that will just watch BBC, whatever it is, and 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 all the all the gaslighting and all the hatred that's thrown into their eyeballs and down their earballs. They just seem to they just seem to not really care, or it just washes over them. They don't pretend they don't realise that they're being gaslit and stuff. Um, five million, two million is is interesting to me. It's only going to go down, isn't it? Well, look, they, they had their first. Oh. This, this is the last episode. Jesus Christ. Well, let, me, let me let me ask you a question. Um, <laughs> since the show, since the season one premiere, we now have official numbers from Nielsen One here in the States to track oh, streaming. We? Yeah, track streaming that. top 10. Uh, Doctor Who isn't anywhere on there for Disney Plus. Uh, well, there you go then. Uh, Terrible. Yeah, I actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll put the share up there for you real quick. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, so here's here's streaming, right? You know, this is just the overall. It's nowhere here. You still have Bluey in the top three, right? And that was the premiere of Roast of Tom Brady. So for television, oops, that's traditional TV. Sorry. Uh, for streaming, go to original. You have um, original series. It's nowhere on there. Clarkson's Farm is on there. But do you see Disney Apple Plus on. anywhere? No. No. I no. no. Okay. Acquired. Uh, Bluey. That's not a surprise. That's on Disney Plus. Uh, it's always um, there. 
Yeah, Grey's Anatomy is shared with Hulu and Netflix. But do you see, uh, other than Hulu, do you see anything here? And do you see Doctor Who here? No. Oh. So where's Doctor Who? Oh, yeah, no, Lost right. in space. Hmm. That's probably true. And time. Too busy. Too yeah. busy. You know, and, and I just, I feel like, I feel like they've got real problems that they're not willing to acknowledge. And uh, I, I, I mean, who, why would you have Doctor, uh, Doctor Who? Why would you have Disney Plus at all? Unless you're one of us or, you know, unless you're able to use Surfshark very efficiently, right, Andre? Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, yeah, and someone I someone not about plugging certain sticks, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would never suggest that you, you do something like that to come across the, the, uh, the uh, acolyte or anything, but, or Doctor Who. But, um, but if I, you must, at least that way, you do not financially support Disney. So that's right. That. And yeah. Just sure. consider this less than 3% of all of Disney Plus users bothered to watch. The first premiere episodes one and two of mm. the Acolyte. Yeah, Can that's we true. From yeah. that conclude that three percent of Disney Plus users are lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because well, no, because you and I watched it. We're not. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, but uh, yeah, I mean, oh, yes. well, anyway, Doctor Who's absolutely dying. We've got some uh, Doctor Who fans here. Lex Kane's TV and movie reviews. For four pound ninety nine, says Doctor Who is now a dirty old man rather than an alien. William Hartnell, Patrick Trufton, John Pertwee would spin, uh, would be spinning in their graves. Yep. Yeah, yeah, they would. Uh, RTD is living in dreamland. RTD is over. Yes, I thought that dude was gonna. I thought he was gonna bring back the glory days. He did not. And anyway, RTD is a retarded. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> fruity. Was it Fruity Gatewood? <laughs> He's done. Uh, Creek Indian Army, uh, $14.30 says, why is Doctor Who's tomato meter 96% and the audience score 27%? What the hell? Something's most fishy. Well, so that's the, they only show critics reviews, don't they, for the tomato meter overall. So yeah, 96% is the critic scores uh, and 27% is the audience scores. They just hate. Uh, it's just that again, similar to the acolyte, isn't it? You know, it's exactly what you'd expect. Thing. Critics love it, and everyone yeah. else bloody hates it. It's kind of the expected thing there. Dear oh dear. Um, all right, yeah, culture. Do you want to?